Okay guys, so got some more stuff, including groceries, but most importantly, we have a new gigantic air fryer and I'm super excited about it. We're both really excited about it. Um, this is a 10 quart air fryer and this thing basically, you could apparently can fry like an entire rotisserie chicken in this thing, it's, it's massive. So we're super excited to use that. We're probably gonna be using that for this video. So it's gonna be super cool. So let's tell them the real reason why you, you we got. You go ahead and tell them why. Um, we're the annoying neighbors that set off the fire alarm every single night. Our fire alarm goes off every time we use our air fryer. Every so, single time, we can't figure it out. There's like no There's real no smoke, why. there's no nothing. Like it just like, our fire alarm just goes off every time we use it. So. Yeah, so we um, uh, we wanted to get uh, upgrade one to a, a better air fryer anyway. So we're gonna figure out, or, like figure, if, if it does, if it keeps going off, we're just gonna have to return <laughs> this one, so. Um, but yeah, so we're so we're stoked to to make this. We're probably actually gonna make the pizza in this tonight. You yeah, because mm -hmm, you can put pizza in air fryer, frozen pizza. You can put anything in the air fryer. Speaking of our pizza for tonight, so I wanted to go with like a pizza themed video. We actually haven't put up a, a video on this channel in over a week, so why not start with pizza? Giorno is one of my favorites when it comes to uh, frozen pizzas. And then we have this, which is Quest Nutrition. If you guys have seen Quest Bars before, they actually have a pizza now. Um, this is basically, uh, it's just weird because I'm used to seeing Quest Bars and I have like a sweetness that comes to my mouth. It comes to my taste palette whenever I think of Quest. So. Well, I like, like with protein bars, yes. Like, I don't like their protein chips. I think that they are. Oh, protein just, chips are terrible. They're weird. They're so weird. So I'm going to be very curious. I wonder if this is going to be like real good. Pizza. Probably. It's got enough sodium to be real good. Holy yeah. sodium. <laughs> Um, and then while I was getting the air fryer, I got one of these. You can actually just set it down. Um, I got one of these, which is like, it's a, a potato, potato -er. Cause so we love our sweet potatoes. We basically fries. make sweet potatoes every every night. So you can push the sweet potato through and I'll make like little fries. I'll probably do that too oh. in this video. This is what my sister has in Texas. Well, no, Simply never mind. Down the, a little bit the, different. The pusher advances oh. the food. Cool. Um, and then we're gonna make our own little, uh, I guess pizza out of um, we're gonna make, plot outs. We're gonna do like a comparison. Yeah, we're gonna do a little comparison mm -hmm. with this video. Um, and also we're probably gonna answer some questions too if you guys have for us. Uh, Christy's not drinking soda, but I got this because mm -hmm. it's delicious. Um, this is fat-free hot cocoa. It's he got puts 20... that on the funniest things. He like adds it to his protein shakes. It's, it's genius, it's genius. Uh, frozen cauliflower, frozen broccoli, and then these were buy one, get one free. We have chicken. I like chicken. Rips. I want to get one free. Yeah. Oh, oh and ground turkey was two ninety nine. Ooh, did so you give me ground turkey? Nope. You <gasps> ground turkey. Uh, these are really good too. These are strawberry cheesecake Greek yogurts. Um, I really, really like these. I'll put them on like rice cakes or something like that. Um, Christy doesn't really eat as much yogurt as I do. I probably mm -hmm. eat a lot. We were totally person. out of stevia. Yep, we got stevia too. Mm -hmm. um, this is gonna go on our pizza. And I got some sugar-free syrup, which is really good. And then apples, and then guess what's coming next? Pears, and then got a bag falling of on the course. floor. Apples and pears every night. What else is in there? It's my bag of deliciousness. Oh, more potatoes. Sweet potatoes. And then I got a toasted coconut vanilla. Oh, I've had that one. Yogurt, super good. So that's it for the grocery haul, guys. Now we gotta make the food. People, my electric empire, you know we got a rancher pie. Rancher, rancher pie. Rancher pie. Ran the rancher rice. Rancher rice, whatever. Get your verbs right, all right? I'm just kidding. All right, guys, so let me just say first and foremost that I completely, completely underestimated the power of our new air fryer because this. He burned the crap out of it. Quest Pizza is thoroughly destroyed. <clears throat> we have DiGiorno Pizza right here and we have our creation right here. So we're gonna do a little pizza fest, okay? But before we do, we gotta get to some stuff, um, some great packages that were sent our way. This actually, as cool as it is for me to say that this was sent to me by a subscriber, it was not. Um, this was- Oh! 
Oh, you said you ordered it yourself, didn't you? Oh, okay. <laughs> like, you acted so confused. I was like, why I was you... so confused. I thought that you ordered it for yourself. So my new merch uh, came out and I wanted to get uh, something for my myself. So we have an electric air That's dealer. Cute. Mug, so I should have ordered one off of my store too. Yeah, I, have a girl, I have a purple girl hustle ones. Uh, Christy, you want to get to your, uh, yes. your package? This was sent to me from one of my hustlers. So sweet of her, all the way from Texas. I feel so spoiled by my girls. So spoiled, they were so kind to me. I love my clients. Why is there so much clients? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, so we got protein packets for our coffee. Protein coffee? That's interesting. Thank you so much. Did Lacey send that? Yeah, 10 grams of protein per packet. I'm so excited to try this. Dang. Ooh, you could totally put this in oatmeal. You probably could. You probably put that Ooh. in a protein shake too. I'm so excited. I see so much pineapple stuff. I needed new note cards. It's like Christmas. Yes. No. Oh, look how cute. Oh, that is really cute. That is so cute. That's so adorbs. So adorbs. Who are you? Oh, it's a notebook. Oh, because everybody knows I love writing with my hands. Oh, thank you. Writing with my hands. Writing. It's been a really, really long day. Yeah, it's been a very long day. It's been a long day. Oh my gosh. And then another little yeah, notebook. Lacey I you love up. it. She knows. Everybody knows. I got like post its and stickies like everywhere. She loves pineapples. Thank you. You're so sweet. Shout out to you, Lacey. So sweet, Lacey. Thank you. Um, and I ordered this. So this is actually going to be a sneak peek. So basically, you sent everything to yourself. Yeah. Uh, for this video. No, just kidding. So this is going to be a sneak peek of a future overload so, challenge. So, hold on. Can we first say this? He gets the package and he goes, Christine, I'm really weirded out because it was sent to like our front door and it's from where? Korea. It's from Korea. And he's like, I don't know how anybody could have gotten like our home address. And I'm a little bit, a little bit freaked out. And the package says snacks. So I thought it was a subscriber that has my address. And so he's um, like having this panic attack and like what? It took you like two days to actually realize what Well, I was going to sleep one night and I'm like, I wonder what's in that. Like, I, I wonder how they could have gotten my address, first of all. Even though Google is a, you can apparently pay for that on Google now. Um, and uh, I was thinking, I'm like, I, I don't know what what it could what could it possibly be? And I was like, what am I gonna do for my next overload challenge? What am I gonna do? I, and then I was like, I wonder where that Hershey's cereal is that I ordered and and it comes in a bag. It's a bag, not a box. How much did you pay for it? And babe, that's that's not what the picture looks like. Oh, oh. It's a Oreo cereal. Well. It literally had a box on eBay. And they gave me a damn bag. And no, I know you guys down below are telling me. You guys are saying, Eric, you could have gotten the Hershey's cookies and cream cereal. Not that's in America. What, that's what I thought you ordered. No, because they discontinued it. Um. So I paid forty-two dollars for a bag of Hershey cereal. Oh man, I hope box. it tastes good. Oh my gosh. Oh well. Well, I got the Oreo O's, which are actually are those probably, discontinued. Too? Those were discontinued, but um, yeah, I'm a little disappointed right now, guys. But oh well. Oh well. We have Hershey's cereal. You have the worst luck. I do. It's just been an interesting day. It's been a very interesting day. Um, so do you want to get into the, which, which one do you want to get into first? I kind of want to try the burn one first. Mm -hmm. So we gonna, like Quest. We do like Quest. I'm on a Quest for Quest. And this has 18, 30, 36 grams of fiber for the entire pizza. So don't go eating an entire one of these because that's your entire, entire daily calorie a lot, or entire daily fiber allotment right there. So. Oh, all right. right there. So the big question is, do you do you eat your pizza like this, or do you eat it like this? I'm from Chicago, so I don't eat pizza. Oh, it's all about the New York style, thin crust, baby. Oh, yeah. We're gonna disagree with that until okay. the day we die. Three, two, but... one. I can hang. Wow. That's actually really, really good. That is really good. I'm impressed. I'm too. It's actually, I actually prefer it. Overdone. Wow. That's really good for a thin crust pizza. That was very tasty for a thin crust pizza. So quarter pizza. How much? Nine grams of fiber? 10 grams of fat, 12 grams of carbs, 
14 grams of protein. I can hang. I can hang. I can hang too. That was actually really, really good. Oh, that's a good idea. And put some ranch on pizza. That's a very good idea. Now we're gonna get into our flat flatbread pizza. So these are made on flat out wraps. We have fiber city over here. There's tons of fiber in these flat out wraps and there's tons of fiber in that. But guys, too much fiber is never a good thing. Mm -mm. Well, people are always just like, so bloated. they're always like, Eric, why do you, why are you trying to avoid fiber? And I'm like, I, I get about 70 grams of it a day. So I don't really Oh, need really? Yeah. Only, I oh babe, <clears throat> I probably only get um, maybe 40. But I like my holy toast. How much do you get? Maybe like 40, 45. That's still like an extremely large amount for the average They typically person. say you're supposed to have 14 grams of fiber per 1,000 calories mm -hmm. that you that you eat. So yeah, I eat a little bit more fiber than I probably should, but this is the best. This is gonna be tasty. So it's fat-free cheese, low-carb pizza sauce, and then flat-out wrap. You've got a really, really strict diet. I mean like... This will carb your it's delicious. I mean, like, I feel like it's just as good as the Quest. Like, I mean, like, the me? Quest has more, like, I mean, like, it has more flavor to it. But I mean, like, this is amazing. You dropped some pizza sauce. Um, I'm very, very warm. Now we have to ask you guys, what is your favorite type of pizza? Because um, there's a lot of pizza options out there, and what do you like to put on it? We'll go. Pineapple. I was just gonna say, we're gonna go to the grave. I'm gonna go take my, my love or my hatred for pineapple on pizza Aww. to the grave with me. And that's just it. I don't think pineapple should belong on pizza. You're eating th something extremely salty. With something sweet. Yeah, but that's the thing, you you separate those. It's Babe. like eating a cupcake. You don't put you don't put a, a, a um, uh, Babe, they complement each an other. An olive or something, a sardine on a cupcake. It's just not the way it works. Pretzels dipped in chocolate. That's different. It's salty. What's something sweet? I mean, like, I wouldn't put peaches on a pizza. Pineapple belongs on pizza. It's so good. I know I'm gonna get destroyed. Or I'm either gonna get destroyed or loved down in the comments below for not loving, or for, yeah, not loving pineapple on pizza. <laughs> Man, I'm so disappointed, babe. That is. I paid $42 for I this. know you did. I hope it tastes good. He paid $42 for what What you need to do. You need to go to your order, see what the picture looks like. I'm gonna do it right then, now. Yeah, do it. Did you use the rest of the cheese on there? You put so much, so much sauce. Babe, I'm a sauce, I'm a saucy guy. It's not that I don't like the sauce, it's just it's too much. Too much sauce. <laughs> Look at it. It says the box right there. Mm-hmm. Right there. That's a that's a damn box of It is Hershey definitely cereal. a box. Oh, box. I feel so bad. Since I'm already on my phone, I'd be you know, so mad. We got a few questions on Instagram that I felt like we should answer. We did. Um, did you do a Q&A? Oh, I don't know. It's like those they're juicy questions. Should we read some juicy questions or read some juicy comments that we got on, on the video? Let's read the comments, and then we'll save the questions for another juicy. We have a lot of juicy questions. If you, juicy, juicy questions. If you guys want to um, see another juicy Q and A. Hey babe, will you please go get me napkin? Babe, you are a mess right now. I know. You look well, like you just got out of a, a, a tomato pizza sand sandbox. And you're like five years old. You why do you do that to your food? Baby, you put so much sauce on it. It's got to be saucy, babe. Get me a paper towel, but we want it first. All right, so a lot of people really liked our fast food menu challenge. We got a lot of engagement on that. And then a lot of people were commenting on our political views, and they seemed to think that we're, we're not, even, we're not even going to go there. <laughs> but we won't go there. Eli Trop says, the cringe couple strikes again. Oh, that is so rude. Eli, but I'm glad we could entertain you. And our, on our anniversary cheat day, since we celebrated our six month anniversary, Josh Hughes goes, six months, what is this, high school? I uh, feel like we have- mental occasions. I made mean, leaps and bounds in six months. It's been almost nine months now. Nine months? Mm -hmm. The Minecraft guy says she is so- oh, that is not water. No. But it's clear. What is that? It's a, no, it's a, it's a strawberry watermelon Ooh. clear spritzer. Um, she is so contolive. Like and comment if you agree. She's so somewhat? Contolive. What does that mean? Oh, 
control them. I love making fun of people's <laughs> callings when they're trying to insult somebody. I I'm so TV. controlling, guys. Like, I'm just, I control. I'm just puppet bastard. Vegan FUD is expensive. That's $16 for a salad. A hominy is what you has in a song, silly. So you both sleep in se separate beds. My dog is the only one allued. Allued. Allude. Alu, alaud. <laughs> I just don't know how somebody can like. Well, clearly type that. English is not their first language. Meanwhile, take a bite of this DiGiorno grease fried pizza right here. Boom. These are all really nice. She said pickles are the best. None of these are even mean, which is kind of surprising. Somebody said, "Wow, I didn't know she was married before." Most people don't know. I feel like we're kind of like getting into that phase of a relationship where <clears throat> people who are now starting to follow us on social, they don't, they haven't followed our entire story, mm -hmm. so they still have to stop. So I don't really know. Yeah. Um, oh, I just see the controlling one. <laughs> I'm so controlling. It's controlling. Ball and chain your a bum to the controlling. <laughs> Family friendly. I mean, I feel we're friendly, friendly. Okay, so somebody says it's true. Light roast coffee does have more caffeine. It's okay. We learn more stuff every day. That's true. No, it's like I see. I see post like good stuff. So I, I am digging the pro or the, the protein. Oh my gosh, I cannot talk the pepperoni. That so, doesn't even look appealing to me. I'm not. I no offense, guys. Like I'm not. No, I don't. Not even it. the pepperonis. I haven't had like like legit pizza like that in a very long time. I think that's. That's like in a mess my stomach up. Like there's so much grease. The pepperoni so. Do you know who would love a pepperoni? Sorry Eric, this channel is boring AF compared to your regular channel. Your GF is pretentious AF to JS. Your girlfriend is pretentious. The problem the problem what I does have JS mean? Just saying. I'm not this is not even worth going into. The problem I have with people that go from my my main channel to this channel is that they assume that I am exactly like I am in those videos every single minute of my life. And it's like, when you're talking to 700,000 plus people and you're trying to be a, a very like entertaining person, you have to portray, you have to be always, you have to be that way in that video. Yeah, it's very But outside of that, yeah. life isn't always like that. Yep, I So um, it's kind of like running a TV show or, well, or making music. You well, can't always appeal to everybody that, that watches or listens to every single thing that you say and so it's just like whatever and i think people have a hard time like differentiating between eric's youtube channel our youtube channel and even my business mm -hmm. oh for sure and people need to realize that when you step into your channel you are Eric the Electric. When you step in, when we will step into our channel, I am Christy Higgs and he is Eric Lampkin. When I step into my business, I am Christy Higgs with, with Girl Hustle and it is my professional business. And so like a lot of people just assume that everything's in our shape. You know, you know what I'm trying to say? Like yep. you get it, but it's just, it can be frustrating sometimes, but we understand that we have like this weird blend mix very going odd. on it's very odd it's very odd but very guys odd. but guys what nothing why did you say that i was just i was just saying what you were saying anyways everybody anyways guys, everybody why do you do that oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> i was gonna do it with the saucer one babe <laughs> You don't. Come on, remember the donut? Yeah, but that was before we were getting serious, hey, and I you, thought you got some sauce on your shit. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> you can close this by yourself. I'm I'm in trouble. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let us know down in the comments below. We hope you guys enjoyed another video from the Electrics, and we'll see you next time.